Hey everybody, Dr. Shook here. Hope you are doing great today. Today I want to talk about why your doctor may have prescribed you large doses of vitamin D. I'm talking about doses that are 50,000 international units once or twice a week. So first of all, just from a practical standpoint, if your lab values are really low, it's easier to raise those levels more quickly with a large dose. But if, you're, if you have chronic inflammation or if you have autoimmune disease, these can be reasons that your body uses more vitamin D because when you're inflamed, when you have allergies, uh, when, when you're under stress, your body will use and metabolize vitamin D more, primarily because your, your immune system is shifted into a more inflammatory, inflammatory state. Now that inflammation tends to change enzyme activity in the body. I've talked about this in a few other videos, in particular the CYP24A1 enzyme. So that upregulates and it causes you to metabolize the active and stored form of vitamin D more quickly. So those levels can drop. So when you're in an, in an inflamed state, you need more vitamin D. And if you take those levels, so if you take the really high doses, but your vitamin D is not, is not coming up, there are reasons for that too. Because vitamin D is critical for immune system balance and regulation, but it's also dependent on other vitamins and minerals, especially, especially magnesium, vitamin K2, and you also have to consider the overall inflammatory load because remember, if you're inflamed, what? What's going to happen? It's going to shift that, that physiology. You're going to have more of the CYP24A1 enzyme active and you're going to just burn through the vitamin D. And so those levels may not come up. So those larger doses are often needed to try to raise the values, but you cannot forget the other essential cofactors and things like magnesium, K2, and the inflammatory environment as, as factors or reasons why it may not be working the way that it should to help regulate the immune system and dampen inflammatory pathways. Now, there are other factors as well. Uh, there are things in our environment like toxicants, which are, toxicants are man-made chemicals, like just think herbicides or pesticides that can affect us and can directly affect our body's ability to to use vitamin D and other hormones and can disrupt our physiology by directly affecting cellular receptors so we don't have normal sensitivity to vitamin D. So there's things in our environment, there's a lot of things that kind of go into this. So it's not as simple as just a quantity issue or taking more, unfortunately. It'd be great if it was. But if you have questions about vitamin D, if you're interested or you need help, I work with people via telemedicine around the world but I also have a lot of free resources for people. I try to teach people and help them as much as I can absolutely free. You can check the link in the bio to go to my website where I have links to all these different resources for you. But if you have questions, please ask. Do my best to help. Thanks.